Hi friends, welcome to 30 Inks, 30 Days, the wrap up. So here we have November at a glance. We have a person here who has tried to start this video like three or four times, such is life. Um, so, you know, we're going, we're, we're, we're doing it. It's just, we're failing. So here we have um, the month at a glance here. They're basically the same paper. This is Tomoe River 52 GSM in both cases, white versus cream. Was it these weeks? What was these weeks I aimed for? I forgot. Good, because I said th some wrong things. So when I was planning which inks to use, I was thinking about this calendar page right here. And I wanted each week to be like a cohesive thing, gradient, but also ideally to have it go well from the start to the end. Um, the last four were kind of like, a well, I can't do that, so we'll just have these be on their own. I'm okay with that too. I think overall I was mostly successful. King Lear stands out as like a, eh, this could have been placed better, but it's a funky color. Like maybe it could have gone in here. Anyway, whatever. If we talk about weeks that like, I feel like the most solid are the, no, the weakest is this week here, probably. Because this is a pretty good, like, transition. Well, it's not. The, this week and this week. Like, but this, these transitions, I feel, are pretty good, you know? You know. Anyway, enough babbling. Um, so, uh, if we talk about the colors that I really liked, um, probably to no one's surprise, if you've been here at all, Petrol Dark Zaza, Shito Shito. I love those colors. They're my colors. I like them here. Uh, Blue Martini as a color, also really nice. Tortoise Shell as a color, also really nice. I found myself strangely drawn to Deer Brown and Detox. Um, maybe like the opposite sort of feeling of cute aggression. <laughs> yeah. Like inst Anyway. I want to stop because I tried to explain it and I dug a hole before in one of the previous attempts. It's like I've been playing Returnal, so I guess it's fitting that my videos uh, are struggling from having to start over and over and over again. Um, real quick, we'll look at the transcription. I finished the book that I was transcribing, so I only got up to here, meaning I missed these, which I did write with all of um most of those in my journal. It's not like they're unwritten with most of them. But let's go back here and we can see them. Um, brief glimpse. This is Chokuro, very, very black. Uh, so here we have Blood Moon. I like this one a lot. I like the shading on it. Aries, Alice Red. Whiskey, Brandy. Um, if you're noticing, there is a pa paper change here. This is Tomorrow River 68 GSM. This is the Regalia. Dear Brown. Detox. This is also Detox. This is Spruce County Post. I liked this. I felt like it was a little bit dry. Maybe. Petrol Dark. Loved it. So you can see what happens every time I write in a Caveco um, sport. It starts off like, yeah, writing, we're doing well, we're doing well. And then it just starts running dry. And it and it's like the feed can't keep up or something. I tried widening it. I don't know what's going on. But it's every sport, regardless of nib size, seems to do this. Um, if you've had that problem and you've fixed it, let me know, please. Zaza, love it. Shito Shito, love it, love it. Goryeo Celadon, way too light. Like, I almost can't read this. And I am wearing my glasses. King Lear, really dry. I felt like maybe the pen was getting um, clogged. This is Kokoroguma. Ignore that. 
Date Gokuro loved this, loved it. Here we have tortoise shell, which did not even finish the page because the experience was so awful. I really have to look at that pen. It gave me uh, a hard time in September also. So I think it's the pen and the, the shimmer ink probably exacerbated the problem. Uh, then we have Hanagokuro, nice. Pink squirrel, look at the difference. This is how it, because it had been sitting, I picked it up and I was like, wait, what? And then look at it, just amazing. Um, Iris Nebula, getting super dry. Uh, Alpha Cancer, this one was a bit dry. And Monkey Head Nebula, this is Cosmo Air Snow, which does tend to make pens like feel drier. It kind of feels like you're writing on a cotton ball to me, or like a marshmallow. Um, so the one pen that I know I took some notes on, I'll share this. Uh, maybe you can read what I had to say about tortoise shell. I was really bummed because I was looking forward to it. So that was a total miss. That was the biggest failure of the month. I also didn't like Gorio Celadon. It was too light. Any other notable failures? Oh, yes. The Quebeco Sport, um, the converter that I bought for it doesn't fit. It's too big. It won't stay on. And so that was a failure. It was not the problem necessarily of the pen or the ink. Um... Pens I wrote dry, Spruce County Post. It's a pretty juicy pen. I know that one. Um, let's see what else. Maybe, is that the only one? No, I wrote uh, The Great Gatsby, my Walltown Watts. That one I wrote dry. Um, that might be it. And then, um, we can look at, I thought it'd be fun looking at my currently inked pens. It's a bit off the chain. This one I inked after 30 inks though. Okay. There's a video for it. So it doesn't count. Um, so which ones went with me recently? These three. I, I think this might be almost dry. Yeah. This one had Taj Mahal, so this one has to get cleaned. Good to know, good to know. Putting it in my pocket for later. Hoping I don't forget it. This was on my nightstand. This isn't done yet. I thought it would be, but it's not. So I'll write that one dry because I like this experience a lot and it makes me think of Ma Amanda. Um, wait, we're missing one. Oh, the bag. Missing more than one. <laughs> and also all these. So, got a lot of pins inked, yo. Got a lot of pins inked. You know what I can't wait to do? Ink up a new pen. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's what I really want to do is put, find a pen and put ink in it, which I probably will do. So, I am not going to bother to write most of these dry. I'm going to dump the inks back into their containers and call it a day because... Life is too short, and most of them, I had my writing experience fun with the ink, and I can be done with it now. Um, hey, look, this one's dry. Why are you still here? <sighs> you know, oh, Maria, you blow hard. So, man, I have a lot of beautiful pens, huh? This is what you should do whenever you're feeling like, oh, I want a pen, just sit down with your collection. And maybe you'll feel like, yes, I do want a pen, but mm, I don't need a pen. And maybe that'll turn you off to it. And you'll be like, hey, gee, thanks. 
good job for not getting a pen. Or maybe you'll say, yeah, I don't need a pen, but you know, my collection is lacking in black pens. I mean, yeah, I hardly have any. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, right? I hope you know. So I hope you like this wrap up. It feels a little scattered because of how many times I started and stopped it. Um, were any of, like, if you remember, were, was anything a standout for you that was your favorite that you're like, oh, yeah, I'm glad that showed up. Do you have any favorite pins in the collection? Any favorite inks in the collection? Uh, I'd love to hear. And I want to end by saying a huge thank you to all of you who've watched and to, to all of you who've commented. It's been really great to to be able to say hi to people and and um, know that y'all are hopefully laughing along with slash at me. Um, <laughs> so again, a very heartfelt thank you. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye.